Okay, my Mentimeter experts, get ready for your third video. So at this point, you've probably created a couple of slides for your students in Mentimeter. Maybe you've even considered embedding one of the Mentimeter presentations into your e-learning and started looking at some of the results. One item I wanted to mention is actually what to do with those results, how to get them and save them and use them to inform your instruction. So if you look at my dashboard here, I'm just gonna pull up a Mentimeter that I gave a staff during a whole staff PD earlier this year, and we'll see what that looks like. So now I am viewing this from my login from the presenter standpoint. So I gave the staff a couple of questions here. How many math minutes do you have per day? How often do you do the following? So there was one of those scale questions. I gave them a chance to ask any questions that they had. And then also they read a quote and they responded to it too. So besides actually having Mentimeter be this tool to get the conversation started, it can also be something that students do after the learning takes place to summarize that. And then as the students contribute, they're not doing this at the same time, this works even better because then they have a chance to read what others wrote and it's almost like they were learning together, even if it was occurring asynchronously. So now the um, question that you really need to consider is this one over here. It says, do you wanna use this presentation again? You can reset the results and not send them to yourself and not download them. If you do that, it's going to ask you if you want to reset it for just this slide or all slides. So you can decide what you want to do. Let's say you want to download the results. You can just click that. And then it will download it as an Excel sheet or you can export it as a PDF. I kind of prefer the PDF version of this, but I have seen the Excel sheet um, used with success too. So now you have this nice screenshot of what was said in the presentation and you can reuse this. So you might have a couple of checks throughout your e-learning lesson to say, okay, what do we learn about this topic? And you present some more information, some more content for the students. Now, how did our learning grow? So then you can have students analyze their responses from the beginning of the week, the end of the week, or week to week. Really, the opportunities are endless. So I really wanted to point out that feature that, that yes, you can download your results. You can send these to students. You can have them look at it again. So there is a lot of longevity when it comes to the Mentimeter tool. So that's really it about Mentimeter. If you have questions or need more help setting one up, just please feel free to reach out to us.